every day I'm sh 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 shuffling. Do 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 do. All right, yeah. Don't ask me why the song was just severely stuck in my head, and um, I had to get it out, guys. I just I had to get it out. It's like a burp or a fart. It's a song fart. I had to fart it out. <sighs> Don't worry. It's just a mini rant. About what? Um, first of all, let's talk about how my glasses are crooked. But then they don't look crooked. But then they start falling, and this eye falls first. I don't know. It's okay. They were free ninety nine because they just were. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Anyway, getting to the task at hand. This is a current obsession video. Oh, you, uh, how about this, guys? It's from Torrid. T O R R I D. Even if you're skinny, you should go there for the accessories because they have the bomb accessories. And excuse my hair, I was like laying down it. And plus, it's just a mess. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. And, yep, this is the Indian Remy. It's in severe need of some TLC, so we're not even gonna talk about it right now. But, and let me mute Raymond and his family. I love Raymond, but you know, right now, he is not what we're doing. So, you know. Alright, so, <laughs> a minute and 40, 50 seconds in, let me tell you what the video is about. My current obsession with cocktail rings and rings, period. Like, I'm becoming slowly obsessed with everything accessory, you know, based. But rings are my major turn on. And I did that with no rings on. And I didn't have any rings on today. But whatever. Excuse me. <coughs> we gonna wear some right now. And might as well start with the two latest ones that you've seen if you watched my last video. Go, go watch it. Go watch it. It's called Manhattan Hall. So that was these two. This is the green and orange yellowish gold stretchy. And I have like a thousand of these gold stretch of these stretchy, not all gold. Of the stretchy ring, so mm -hmm, yeah, and that's from a phase, a fuzzy, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. This one is Bo, and he came from the man on the street for two dollars. Oh, he's adjustable, but I mean, for an adjustable ring, this is really gorgeous. And then this one, I know a lot of people have. I'm going to try to tell you where I got them from, but some of them, I just can't remember. And I'm recording on my bed, so if it shakes, get over it. <laughs> just playing, sorry, if it shakes. Um, this is a two-finger baby. I think this one came from either Charlotte Russe. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm yawning so much. It either came from Charlotte Russe or someplace else. <laughs> I'm really not positive, but it's black with faceted stone and rhinestones. Rhinestones on the leaves. Yeah. This, oh, I love this ring so much. And it came from, I know what the store looks like, but I never know what it's called. It's this store in Willowbrook Mall and it's bright pink when you come upstairs it's just like a hot pink store the wallpaper and stuff and this is all one ring and we've got a black stone an ivory butterfly two little gray roses that's not a black stone it's a black rose sorry and then there's a few little rhinestones sprinkled throughout I love this ring again a stretchy back I have kind of big fingers like I'm a 8 9 so I like the stretchy one guys I, I know why I'm yawning cuz I'm tired you know why cuz I slept like seven hours in two days 
This one is really kind of boring. I just bought it to match something. This is from Dots, if you like it. It's got those two beige colored stones, some green, some teal, and then like that tan one at the top randomly. No idea where this came from. Couldn't even remember. I've seen it since I got it though. Oh, maybe Charlotte Russe? Or where did you come from? I think Charlotte Russe. It's got blue stones. And it's different shades of blue stones, crisscross pattern. Marcusite looking in the background there. It's pretty. I wear it sometimes when I remember I own it. Then um, I used to talk to a guy that has spiders tatted randomly on him. And he made me like spiders because I just find the one that's tattooed on him, on his hand especially, super sexy. So I had to think for spiders rings for a second. And this is a black widow, which is his one. Also stretchy. It's rhinestones all over the body. Uh, black rhinestones for the eyes, legs, stuff. It's a nice ring. Very, very uh, detailed. I like it. It's very big. Then a little baby spider that my friend got me from. I'm pretty sure this is from, uh, I want to say Avenue because usually she gets them from her job and that's where she works. And this one's rhinestoned. But this is the silver, smaller version. This one came from... The store where I bought it. And... It's just a robin's egg blue stone. With rhinestones all around it. Dots. This came from Dots. This is a ring that I actually got from a drug rep from my job. He didn't give it to me, but his wife and him sell rings. And I went one day to their little expo thing. A couple of the stones are falling out, but it's still super pretty. And it's sterling silver, I'm pretty sure. Because usually fake stuff starts to fuck with me after a couple hours. This one I have yet to wear. Oops. This one I have yet to wear out. It's also from Torrid, and it's um, one of those like put it on your whole finger and it bends with your finger like a knuckle ring. Let's call that it. Let's call it that a knuckle ring. It's pretty hot. The one that fell out of it, I got on Black Friday last year from Walmart for like five dollars, and it's got a huge pearl in the center and then like the petals of the flower are rhinestoned sterling silver so this is my black friday ring i like it it's pretty very dainty very feminine but not dainty this is just a purple gem stone i got it from this store called love letters in a building where i used to work about as best contact information as I can give you. Then this is, it was all silver. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. My mom got it for me. I don't know where. Yes, I'm giving you the finger. <laughs> and then, um, this is so old, I really don't know where this came from. But I get compliments every time I wear it. And until the stones start looking raggedy and start falling out, which not a stone has fell out yet. And I wear this ring all the time, everywhere. If I go out, go to work, whatever. And people love this ring because it's just a big disc of sparkle. It's also stretchy. You see how old it is. It's turning like red. Mm. Then this one. This is from Dots. And um, that's the ring. See that big glob of glue and the center missing? Ask me when it happened though. Ask me when it happened. The first night I wore this ring out. And it was a huge like charcoal colored stone in the center that made the ring just pop. 
and now it's just empty. But I don't want to throw it out because the surrounding is still so nice and I could just put something in the center. If I had found this freaking thing, I would have glued it back in. This ring my best friend just gave me. It's like mother of pearl mood ringy looking. I call this my Veda ring because remember in My Girl when Veda wore her um, mood ring on her pointed finger like this? So it just made me feel like Veda. I'm crazy, y'all. I'm crazy. This came from wherever. Y'all know, y'all have seen some of these rings before. And this can be found all different places. I want to say this might have came from Joyce Leslie. It's just like black leaf design. It's cute. Okay. This ring... It's just multicolored stones. I call it a, my bouquet ring. I name my jewelry sometimes. Um, I call it a bouquet because it's just it looks like to me like a bunch of different flowers thrown together. It's got some orange, pink, blues, purples, blacks, greens. Everything's in there. So I wear this when I have on like a lot of different colors in my outfit. And then this one. It's from Dots 2, and it's a two finger ring, just a single layer of rhinestones. Pow! And I work at a doctor's office, so whenever I'm like signing people's cards or um, giving them a receipt or whatever, like whenever they see me writing, like whenever I'm at work, I make sure I put my ring on my hand that faces the window so people can see them when I write. Because I be like fishing for compliments and stuff. Oh my gosh, the old people are mesmerized by this daggone ring. It's like they've never seen a ring like this before. It's so cute. And then, ooh, this is one of my newbies. This is a new one from Dots. It's a peacock. Peacock. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, wear it like this. So that way the peacock faces up. And it's pretty. It's got like stones in it. And you can't see it, but there's like a little bit of marbling effect in the feathers. Oh no, well, you can see it, but whatever. It's, it's cute. And then I got this ring also from Torrid. It's the thinnest ring I own. Like, if I tried hard enough, I could snap it in half. But I had to have it because I'm a very tall girl. I'm 5'10 and some change. Maybe we'll say 5'11, but I don't like to get any taller. So I'm 5'10 and some change. And I love giraffes because I feel like they represent me in the animal kingdom. So I had to have him, cause look at the detail. He's like for real. He's a legit looking giraffe, down to the feet seats. So I had to have him. Oh, and he's like really long on my finger, so he's cute. He's he's cool with me. And this one I think I got from Torrid, but I could not really tell you. It's a turquoise, kind of throwback looking, very um, gender friendly because my grandfather had a ring something like this, but his wasn't as long. I think the length makes it more feminine and the leaf detailing, but it's very like aztec -y. Oh, this will go perfect with my new shirt from Forever 21 when I get the right size. This ring also came from Avenue and was crazy. This looks just like a ring, a real ring that um, my grandmother gave me before she passed away. But it looks just like the ring, like the setting, everything looks the same, the gallery. But boom, it's fake and this one so I can have the same look without sacrificing or worrying about if my grandma's ring is going to be messed up. So that's what's up. Uh, I love this ring, guys. I love it. This is from Charlotte Russe. 
And he's my little nerd owl with his little purple glasses on. And it's like a bronzy and he's sitting on his thing and it's stretchy. I love that ring so much. I wear it whenever I can, even if it doesn't match sometimes. Then this is my big knock a bitch out with the bling factor alone and then knock her out with the size. Actually, it kind of like it's fitting since I'm oversized here. Got the big knots on it, so we about to rock this joker for the rest of the bed, yo. The rest of the bed, yo. And look at how it's just like the only ring you need, even on both hands. It's got them both covered. Mm. Yeah, you see that? You saw the way that came at you? And I like it because it's got this little row right here. This row right here, and the top row, there's a, two, a row in them, I could talk, that's got like those iridescent multicolored um, stones, so it just adds a little more dimension to the ring. Oh, I said I was going to wear this the whole video, so we're going to do that. Then my coworker knows I love rings, and she's like very dainty, very like small jewelry woman, nothing like this stuff. But, um, I'm gonna just keep showing y'all my ring, my necklace because it's hot. But, um, so she tried to get a big ring. This is her definition of a gaudy big ring. And it's pretty. Also, very Aztec y, tribal y, trendy looking. However, and it's stretchy. However, it must be like a small, because she's a little lady. It must be like a small, medium size. And I usually get the large, extra large ones. But this shirt is tight as hell. I even tried stretching it out on the curling iron. It didn't even work. So Then this one, I got from Fashion to Figure. And I'm not necessarily like crazy about frogs or pink. Well, I do love pink. And I don't have a pink, all pink ring. But I had to get this frog because my grandma loved frogs. And had she been alive today, I would have bought this for her. Knowing damn well she wouldn't have worn it. Wore it, wore it, wore it, but she just would have loved it. So I wear it for her. I don't really wear it all that often because I don't really wear pink clothes like that. I like pink. Don't get me wrong, I love the color pink. Pink, black, and gray. Those are my three favorite colors at the same time. But um, I just don't really wear pink that much. But it's good to have because she would want me to have it. Then my coworker also gave me this one because it was too big for her. So uh, it really reminds me of my um, Black Friday ring, the pearl with the rhinestones, but it's the reverse. It's rhinestones with pearl petals, and it's stretchy. So that's they're similar but different. My friend, my best friend, got me this from her job at the Avenue. I've yet to wear it because I don't necessarily love it. But it's got turquoise and dark, dark blue, not dark blue, sky blue and green stones on his wings. It's all right. But it's just another ring. Almost done, almost done. I know it's long. This ring would have been so a freaking official. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try and find some stones to put in here because this ring is hot. It's a cross. But you see how at the top, how all the stones are there? all the stones on here no any stones on this side no all the stones here no they just slipped out because i guess the glue job was whack but mm, i love this ring i need to fix that or look for it again because it's cheap enough to buy another one then this ring from dots i also love it's so cute big black stone in the center second circle of rhinestone and then this looks like turquoise but it's really just painted that turquoise color also stretchy and I just love him her it and lastly from this store love culture it's just two gray like pearls with snake wrapped around rhinestone and of course stretchy 
So that's it for my sick ring obsession. Oh my gosh, is it severe? Do I need treatment? You be the judge.